What's going on, my DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And today, the fucking character spotlight is the Terminator, my boy Devstro. God damn, I love this character. And I feel like this character hasn't been fully uh, utilized, at least in live action, for big screen. I know he's been in uh, Arrow, played by Manu Bennett, who is awesome. Obviously, Joe Magna, -na -na -na. <laughs> I can't say I can't pronounce his last name. I always do that. So bear with me. We had barely seen him in fucking Justice League. We also saw him in uh, Teen Titans played by uh, not not Teen Titans, but Titans played by Isai Morales. I feel like those people, especially Manu Bennett and uh, Isai Morales, they've done like a fucking great job in playing Deathstroke. But I feel like we need to see him on the big screen to really get that exposure from Joe whether he's gonna be in the bad flick series who knows but i feel like this character of deathstroke who was created by the way by marv wolfman and george press i think it was in 1980 so this character is really has it been or has been like fairly new because i thought this character was like was like created like in the 19 like 50s and 60s but 1980s so he's, he's fairly new and just in a short time alone I I mean he's fucking been popular as fuck and he's a badass. He's almost the antithesis and complete opposite of Bruce Wayne Batman cuz you know Batman is a master detective, martial artist, same with Deathstroke. Batman has Alfred as his servant and Death and Deathstroke has a uh, Wintergreen who's like his evil version of Alfred which is badass. And also fun fact, Deathstroke if you don't know, fucked up the entire Justice League by himself. Now granted it, it wasn't Superman and all that stuff. But the fact that he granted, the, like granted, the fact that he fucking fucked up the Justice League by himself, it, it just proves and shows how fucking badass Deathstroke is. And not to mention, he whooped Batman's ass. Now, anytime you can whoop Batman's ass, you know you're a fucking badass. You, you got that stamp, that that seal of approval of badass right there. So Deathstroke is amazing. De Deathstroke is a bad. I love the look. I love the attitude. I, I, I love how the character is portrayed. Of course, you know, his, his abilities, he's enhanced. He has enhanced strength, agility, durability. He's like a master strat strategist. Again, he's like the fucking polar opposite of Batman. He's, he's an evil version of Batman. And I hope that, you know, especially like with a starter cut and going forward and hopefully with the Batfleck series, Deathstroke gets the mainstream exposure that he deserves because everyone needs to know about this character. And I feel like this character has sort of always been under the radar. So the fact that he, hopefully he gets a big screen adaptation, hopefully soon, it just it will go to really show how how fucking awesome Deathstroke is. I love this character. Slade Wilson obviously is like a little parody between you know Deadpool, you know Wade Wilson, because I think Deadpool is actually a, uh, supposed to be like a copy of Deathstroke. Or, or something like along those lines again just marvel copying dc as always <laughs> i know this marvel fanboys are fucking triggered when i when, when they hear that it's like no 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 marvel's better no no dc's better shut the fuck up death stroke is awesome yeah i love again fucking whoop batman's ass whoop the justice league's ass and the fact and, and whoop the fucking teen titans ass again fucking death stroke is a badass what more proof do you need what more proof do you need He's a badass. He whooped Batman's ass, Justice League's ass, Teen Titans' ass. Come on, man. Ugh. Like the the character is is so cool, so badass, and hopefully that there, there hasn't been a lot of um like great comic books, uh, unfortunately with this character. But the comic the comic books I will reference you know later on in this video. Hopefully, so you get, so you guys can pick it up and read it and have a fun time and really understand how cool this character is. Again, it just, it just goes to show that this character has been under the radar and hopefully he'll get the proper, you know, not respect, but proper exposure in the upcoming years. Because again, like the, his, his storylines with the Teen Titans, you know, especially like with the Judas Contract, uh, the Titans Plague, Titans Hunt, Family Business, Identity Crisis, Infinite Crisis, uh, Nightwing and the Birds of Prey. These are just, you know, the storylines that, that, that Deathstroke was heavily featured in. Is amazing. Obviously, he's been in the new. So I recommend you know New Fifty Two Deathstroke, Rebirth Deathstroke, and like I said, um, uh, the family business uh, storylines and all that stuff. Again, so I I would recommend these books if you just wanted to like you know find out who Deathstroke is and want to get into the character. 
I would recommend uh, Rebirth to Deathstroke, which is like a, a newer series. So if you want to get into Deathstroke, I recommend that because you won't, you won't be disappointed in other countless storylines that I just mentioned previously. So those are my thoughts on Deathstroke, the character. DC character spotlight on Deathstroke. I love the character. The character is awesome. Support the character. I love the character. And yeah, go read fucking Deathstroke because he's awesome. So anyway, smash that fucking like button, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. Let's continue having a DC conversation. Support Deathstroke. Read his books. And as always, truth out.